Hello, my name is Kuzix, and today we have a simple goal. The match is to go from this sad little county of bourbon to the king of France in three to five generations is the goal. Um, we'll see how far we can get. Uh, we are going to do that, however, without ever going to war. War is so messy. Instead, we're going to use the three M's of CK3. Murder. Money. And marriage. And, you know, who who hasn't just been like, you know, I just want to murder a family. You know, this is the perfect opportunity for that. So, you know, let's get started, huh? First, though, we're going to need a new ruler. This dude sucks. Excellent, friends. We have a less shitty ruler. You'll notice that he has giga high intrigue and pretty high diplomacy. So, our first goal is to find a duchy who I can marry into... Um, so that I can basically extend my power. Because the thing is, is that the King of France is never going to let me marry into the family. Okay, so we have decided to go after the uh, Duchy of Acquaintance. Um, the Duchy of Acquaintance is kind of an interesting little place. Uh, it's got a lot of territory in it. Plan is that we're going to we've we've begun fabricating a hook against uh, Duke Gilhelm the Eighth, looks like. And we are going to forcefully marry his... We're going to marry his daughter after a hook gets fabricated and a little bit of bribery. Uh, marry. Then we're going to start killing off his family members, kill off the father, have a child with the, have a child with the kid, etc. You, you, know you know the classics here. Um, and at that point, we should be pretty good to go. All right. Let's get started. Quick little update. We have succeeded in fabricating a hook. Unfortunately, he caught me, so he's very upset. So I'm going to have to sway him. It's going to take a while to do that. But we are going to quickly sway him, and then after that, we'll marry his daughter. It's going to take a moment. Alright, the important time has come. So you'll notice that we, we've got our like, little hook here. We've upped his uh, like opinion of me by just enough that we can actually officially get married here. Um, once we get married, then we got to kill the father here, and then she will become next in line. A toast, shall we? And there he is. He's officially dead. Apparently, I am not the only one who's killing people off. I don't know who died, but somebody's killing somebody. Uh, and I am going to find this person. And very quickly, I'm going to whack this dude because this dude's becoming a problem. I'm not even sure who died. Um... We also took a lot more defensive uh, traits specifically because of this. Like, we didn't take a duct or, like, uh, fabricating secrets specifically because we need to make sure that we're not going to get killed. Uh, well, my wife is not going to get killed. All right. Let's get to it. Apparently, my fucking spy master is just going around fucking killing people. Um, so, um... Uh... Do I want sadis sadistic? Maybe. Nah. It's a little, it's a little much. Uh, mm, no, actually, no. Sadistic is gonna be good for me. All right, fine. Yeah, we'll be fr come friends with this dude. At least he's not trying to murder me. I'm happy enough with that. All right. Well, we are now absolutely like in the deepest depths of depravity. That person, that that person gutted a woman and then also chopped up a body and then like gave me their like fingers and shit like. We're, we're really, we're really in the deepest depths of, of depravity now. But, you know what? Fuck it, you know? What's the, what's the worst that can happen? Anywho, let's continue onwards with the tree, and uh, hopefully we can finish the scheme right a bit here. Um, we are already married to this woman. We're betrothed, so I just need to actually, you know, have a kid now, and we're good to go. Alright, sick. It is now official. We are now married in actuality. Um, so now we can have a kid, and I am going to have a nice little, uh, nest egg set up here for my, uh, next child, and that child will go on to hopefully rule over France. We shall see. But we can hope. Um, so far, man, we've only had to murder one person, so, you know, we're doing, we're doing pretty good on the murdering scale, but, uh, the night is still young, let me tell you. So, my stupid bishop has been plotting against me now for, like, the past, like, five fucking years, and... I'm done with him, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna whack this guy, because he's starting to become a problem, like a big problem. Goodbye, Mr. Priesty Man, go fuck yourself. 
So big find guys in our in our new, our newer character. Um, we're working on our uh, we're working on our intrigue right now, but uh, on our newer character, she is really uh, we've got a really 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 good spy, which is gonna be really beneficial for us. Um, we're waiting for our mother to die. Um, I'll show you what a murder looks like on her. 17% likelihood. That's terrible. Uh, so because of that, we're waiting for her to die. She's 41 right now. She'll die pretty soon. Um, and then we're looking to ideally um, find a position, um, find a female in this line and slowly become the king of France. But uh, it's a work in progress. Oh, you guys know how it goes. And so it begins, my friends. We are now officially uh, plotting a... Um, we're now officially plotting to fabricate a hook against the king of France. Then we just have to persuade him a little bit. Then we can marry his daughter, kill the rest of his family, and boom, bang, shamazel. We are officially in the uh, French, uh, we're now officially the French king. Um, so, hey, it, it could go well here. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. I don't, I don't want to imprison her. She's actually like the most, she's the only one who's actually useful in my goddamn court. So I don't really want to imprison her at all, so. That better not be a son. I swear to God, I will kill your son. Don't, don't tempt me, bro. Don't tempt me. How's the sway going? Okay, sway is making progress, but goddamn it is slow. Can I just like give you more money and that like, you'll get more opinion of me? Ugh, no, not yet. Come on. I need a good... Not swayed. What do you mean, not swayed? Ugh. Oh, he had a son, too. Fuck me. Should be easier to convince him now, though. Yeah. Okay, sick. Okay, so we have the first daughter. Acceptance. So, that's all we need. Now we just get to the killing part. Little update. We will not be murdering the king quite yet. Um, and the reason we won't be murdering the king quite yet is because we need to murder the son first so that our, the first inheritance is the, uh, is, is Prince Philip, uh, is, uh, sorry, is Prince Mathalied of France. So, first we gotta kill the kid first. Uh, problem is, is our rating on this is really freaking bad, so we're just gonna have to high roll into it. Uh, I, I, I would never, ever, 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 ever say it's crap. It never. Fuck. Easy kill. All right. Obviously, my character stressed the hell out because I'm killing children, but that's okay. Why is this guy the primary heir? Hold up. Who the fuck is this guy? Who are you? Okay, hold on. I need to look up this whole... Okay. Why is the primary heir this asshole? Who the fuck is this guy? Alright, friends. I don't really know what the hell happened. So, the new plan is, is just to start killing every family member physically possible until eventually my right wife becomes the primary heir. I am just going to basically kill, maim, and murder everything under the sun until that happens, however. So, let's begin. We're going to be doing a lot of sage scrubbing, so... Uh, murder 2... Actually, this is murder of, like, four. We're gonna, dude, our body count is gonna be into the hundreds by the end of this. Mock my words. Oh, my God. Uh, this is... I, I don't know where I went wrong. I don't know what the issue is. But I figure if everyone is dead, eventually it has to come back to my daughter. Back to the, the wife. So, I'm just gonna keep killing and killing and killing and killing until there's no possible other heirs to the throne. It's gonna be a it, it, the body count is going to be high as hell, boys. Easy money. First kill of the inheritance line, and we'll just continue down the inheritance line until everyone's dead. Um, so we've got um, so okay. So this is the next primary heir. So he's the next one to die. And again, we're just gonna keep on going down that line until we figure out who the hell is the actual primary heir. Um, because it just seems to be endless. So I guess we'll just start, like I said, we'll just keep killing people until eventually and inevitably, 
um, it becomes my my wife. Because if there's no other options, it can only be one. Here we go. Our next murder is complete. And again, we're continuing down the line. Okay, so now this is the primary here. Apparently. And yeah, twins. Oh, lovely. Great. Love that for sure, bro. Alright, so now... Now the primary error is like this, then this. I mean, okay, we got we got kids to kill. Let's uh let's start the schemes and actually before we start the schemes, I actually want to make sure that we don't get killed. Uh, there's a murder plot going on within my ranks where people are trying to kill me, and I want to make sure this dude gets caught before we get killed. Um, so we're gonna do that real quick, then we're gonna kill the sixth guy. Because we're going to have to kill both these sons. Oh, and she died anyways. God damn it. Who the fuck is killing people, man? It's the bishop who's killing me, people? You're kidding me. Dude, that was such a good spy master, too. God damn it, man. That fucking dick. Ugh. And I have so many kids to kill now. Oh, it's all fucking terrible, man. Ugh. 48%. Oh, wow. Ah. No setback. Too great for enough save scrubbing. Holy shit. Save. Murder six. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Hold up, 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 hold up. I randomly just became a king. Um, this was not intentional. This just randomly happened. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Reload, please. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, there was a lot that was happening there. Randomly, I became a fucking king. Okay, let, let's let's keep playing forward, and then we I want to record that because randomly I became the king of. Randomly, I I became a king of, uh, Ancotain or whatever the hell it is. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I am officially, I'm an official king of France. Not the France, but I am the king of Aquitaine, which honestly, I'm happy enough with. We're officially a king. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how that happened, but we went from being a county to a king. So, kind of to explain what I think happened, and again, this is what I think happened. So I think my my old wife, what she did was is that she conquered a bunch of the land, took over everything. Then with the combination of the land I already had, made herself into a queen. And then when she made herself into a queen, I simply inherited her title as queen. Or in this case, I became the king. Um, I think that's what happened. Um, looking back at it, I, this was not the intended thing to have happened, but we successfully became a king in a singular generation, which is freaking awesome. Well, friends, we may be the king of Aquitaine, but we are not the king of France, and we will obtain our title as the king of France. It's going to be quite difficult. We have a lot of kids to kill. We've got, she ha is having a daughter we need to figure out I, I'm hoping that I'm hoping I can have a child with Princess uh, Methylide and that will put him in line after her and then because it can only be inherited by a male heir and after I kill all the male heirs he'll be the first in line that's what I'm hoping for I don't know if that will work but we're going to give it the good old college try. All right. I will see you guys after we uh, plot a variety of murders and kill a bunch of children. Lucky me. Well, friends, 
We may be the king of Aquitaine, but we are not the king of France, and we will obtain our title as the king of France. It's going to be quite difficult. We have a lot of kids to kill. We've got... She ha is having a daughter. We need to figure out... I I'm hoping that... I'm hoping I can have a child with Princess uh, Methylide, and that will put him in line after her and then because it can only be inherited by a male heir and after i kill all the male heirs he'll be the first in line that's what i'm hoping for i don't know if that will work but we're gonna give it the good old college try all right i will see you guys after we uh, plot a variety of murders and kill a bunch of children lucky me my brother has decided that he wants to be especially nasty and begin a full-on revolt. So we are just gonna glass this guy. It was nice knowing you, but it wasn't that nice knowing you. Goodbye, brother. Getting whacked. Alright. Uh, that should probably that will that will get rid of that faction pretty much instantly. So, as it turns out, murder is an effective tool for disbanding uh, annoying factions you don't want to deal with. Anyhow, that is dead. Here it is. We're officially married. Update, my friends. So I just had my first child, uh, which is Prince Ronald. Uh, so we have our we have our heir now to the kingdom of France. Whack this guy. Whack this guy. Whack this guy. Boom, Bob Junker, we're now the king of France. All right, here we go. Should I get it? Hopefully we can succeed. Okay, six, 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 six. Okay, we, we, we killed the king. King is dead. King is dead. Okay, boom. First step is that was required is obtained. Boom. Okay, can we kill the son too? 95% chance. Okay, boom. Okay, another one murked. Okay. Kill him. Kill the wife. So, just for the sake of doing it, what I'm going to do is actually... Hold on. I am going to vassalize both of these places. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and that's going to allow me to vassalize these places. Boom. Low. 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 There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And you'll notice we are we are way more powerful than we were a couple seconds ago. All right, let's see if we can kill this guy. Bang. Nice. Goodbye, Mr. Countman. Oh man, it's gonna be tough. All right, let's see if we can do it. Eve is dead. Hello. So, basically, here's where we're at with things. Okay? I have tried everything in my power to be able to get secession to the French kingdom. I have not been able to do so. I don't know if it's because of the secession laws. I'm not sure why, but it's been a major, major problem for us. So basically, I have written out a step-by-step -step guide on how I'm going to do what I need to do to become the King of France. Now, to be completely honest with you, in all likelihood, I will not just become the King of France. I will become the Emperor of France once I have both France and um, Aquitaine, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so let me explain to you the plan here, okay? Step one consolidate power how are we going to consolidate power we are going to revoke the title of the duchy of lang languedoc I think that is uh we're going to we're going to uh revoke that title give that title to us um next thing that we're going to be doing is is that we are going to be assassinating our brother because our brother is forming a faction against us and this dude is just a complete arrogant asshole i'm done with them i'm just gonna kill him sick okay Next step, okay, is that in the Kingdom of France, we are going to marry into the Duchy of Burgundy. And by marrying into the Duchy of Burgundy, what this should do is that this should de start to destabilize the French government. 
And by doing that, it should hopefully allow us to start making our way into it. So we'll go Burgund, we'll basically marry into the family of Burgundy, then Champagne, and then by doing that, hopefully we'll be able to conquer both of these lands without too much trouble. Um, also, during this uh, consolidation phase of power and the basically eroding of the Kingdom of France, um, I probably am going to run into quite a few problems um, defensively. People are going to declare war on me inevitably. Um, I am allowing myself to fight defensive wars um, or wars to quash rebellions if absolutely necessary. Ideally, I would prefer to just assassinate the target, and that would be my primary idea is to assassinate targets who um, are trying to fight me. But if that is not a possibility for whatever reason, then we are allowed to fight a defensive war, but only defensive wars. All right. I hope you enjoy this montage because, boy, are we going to stack a body count. Toodaloo, fucker. Yeah, exactly. Try to reset my throne now, bud. Hello. So I'm doing this brief little interlude to explain what's going on here because it's, well, it's pretty convoluted. So the current generation at the start of this interlude will marry his heir to the Duchess of Burgundy. She's the second in line to inherit. At this point, my main character dies and we switch to my heir, who I will henceforth refer to as my main character as and heir as his son, as this will make things a lot less confusing. So, my main character will murder the first in line to the Duke of Burgundy, so my wife becomes the holder of the seat, and my son will inherit the position after her death. Then, I will abduct the Duchess of Champagne. I do this to get a weak hook uh, to force her to marry my heir. At this point, my son will have a child with the Duchess of Champagne. This will put him third in line to the position of the Duke of Champagne. The Duchess will divorce my son. However, he maintains his third in line status due to the being, the, being one of the last blood relatives. The Duchess is murdered, not by me, putting my son as the second in line and my, and my son's heir as the first in line. I will then, on my on my main character, kill my son's heir, so he is the first to inherit, therefore holding the title. This will ensure he obtains both Champagne and Burgundy in one generation. I hope that makes sense. Alright, my uh, uh, King uh, Raoul has died at 56. We are now our son, and you will notice that we have a lot of land. Uh, like a insane amount of land now um, Just on what happened there and anyway, we've married into the uh, the Flanders line so the six country the six counties left that's six counties Which is the exact number I need to uh, usurp the throne of the king of France and at which point we will become well the king of France we have a murder to commit so one of I don't even know how many people we've killed at this point. It, it's a lot. Like, a lot of people. We've killed, abducted, murdered. Um, and we continue to do so. Also, bribery. Lots and lots of bribery. And... Bang. We've got a king dead. Let's start the next... The uh, Let's start the next murder plot, shall we? Alright. We're gonna kill. Uh, we're gonna kill this child, and uh, after we kill uh, him, we will be in line because of our wife. All right, let's see if we can kill this kid. All right, goodbye. There we go. We just killed another uh, target. So at this point, now our betrothed is now first in line. Which gives us, uh, which will give us this uh, county after uh, for our firstborn child, and then at that point uh, we will be able to become the king of France. But holy goodness gracious, it has taken a long time and a lot of effort and a lot of killing. But we're here. Huge boys, we we ha we finally have a child. So now my character just needs to live long enough that I can have that child go into position. And he'll be the Flanders king. He'll be the king of Akram, Flanders. And then finally, we'll be able to usurp the throne of France. Okay, my character has officially died, but we still have King Archambod. 
and he should be the primary heir of this, so we just have to wait for our mother to die. Alright boys, we are officially a full-on adult, and we are ready to take positions uh, on the throne. I will admit, this character is also kind of crappy. We've had a lot of just kind of crappy characters, like, recently, but that's okay. There it is, my mother is officially dead. Actually, I didn't need to kill her. She actually died of natural causes, so... Hey, we take those. All right, so now, hold on, hold on, let's pause, let's pause, let's pause, okay. Uh, it would be my pleasure to accept that, but you know, it's even more my pleasure. Let's do it. It would be especially my pleasure to usurp the, the kingdom of France. There we go. I am now officially the king of France. There we go. Alright, so it took us one, two, one, two, three, four. It took us five generations. It took us exactly the number of gener. It took us, I said it would take us three to five generations to get to become a king, the king of France, and it was exactly that. It was five generations. So hell yeah, uh, we kicked ass. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, hey, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I put a lot of work into getting this done, and, uh, yeah, dude, let's go, woo! Um, by the way, I might, at some point, become the emperor here, um, but if I'm gonna do the whole emperor thing, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm just gonna do it with war. Uh, I'm gonna do it militarily instead of, uh, diplomatically and intrigue-wise, because intrigue-wise, I'm just so cooked, dude. <laughs> so many plots and schemes. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching, like I said. Talk to you guys later.